Hello and welcome to Mercedes-Benz of Bath. You're with Rob and John from the products team here and we're going to demonstrate the memory park assist function on the new EQE. So we start off by hitting the record button and then the parking button. You do have to keep the speed fairly low but it will record up to 109 meters of the final journey up to your parking space and actually do the maneuvering as well. So you just got to keep the speed nice and slow. I'm going to go up a bit here so where we're going to park is a little bit further down uh, past the C Coupe there and uh, take it in. So the idea of this being that it will memorize the route you take each time and then you can just let the car take over. So this route on the left here is just showing you how far we've gone and then we're going to do a little swing out and then maneuver back in. I said it would do a whole 109 meters so we've done nearly half of that now. So once we've got it parked we're then going to drive back in a moment to the space where we started the recording. Okay, so once we've parked, we then press the stop button and that will actually save and we can just call it bath, whatever. Okay, so we're going to join up next and go back to where we started. So we'll see you there in a sec. Okay, so we're back now and we're driving towards where we started before and you can see this little maps come up. So all we've got to do is drive towards the start position and then we can let the car take over. So we've just got the speed bump to navigate there. Okay, so stop the vehicle to park and then we can start with the park button and our memory park assist will take over. So we'll let the car take over. So come off the brake, Rob. There we go. And we're going to let the car follow the route that it previously took. So no input here. Rob is covering the brake for safety purposes and the throttle. So this is an advancement of the original park assist where it would just drive you past and then you would decide if you wanted to go into the space. So this will memorize, as I said, the last 109 meters up to. So we did about 52. So if you're coming back and you want to just park in the driveway, the last part of your journey will just take over. So it's looking for the position where we turn there. Again, no input from the driver at this point. And there we go. So it's just going to do the little swing to the right that Rob did. And again, nothing happening from the driver here. There we go. It's just coming up. And you'll see the red mark there. So that's where it's going to switch into reverse. And then it's going to do its reversing section. Might need a little bit of encouragement on the throttle because there's a slight hill there. But no, it's doing it by itself. So fully autonomous parking from a start position that it remembers from the GPS. Obviously do keep an eye on your surroundings for safety reasons. It does remind you of that up there. And if there are obstacles in the way, obviously it might be, it turns out that someone is parked in that position, it will obviously stop the function. But there we go, successfully parked autonomously by the EQE. Thank you very much for watching.